carpal and, uh, and the, uh, the carpals and the fingers. So I'm going to first show you. Then I'm going to review. First, show you this illustration of a humerus. Oh, there's nothing on the humerus. It's just the radius on the um, carpals, metacarpals, the thumb up, and uh, the digits. But this is uh, the right arm, the right w wing of the bird, and I'm going to draw the left wing of the bird. I'm going to have to worry about it somehow. Now, before I do that, I'm going to reinforce what we've done so far, which is that there, we'll start at the head, even though Nicolai says never draw anything from the head. But in the bird, it's sort of like the beginning of the line. There's the head with the big eye and the um, bill, or the, uh, the mouth, the horny mouth. And then many vertebrae, I've now moved them around to be curving the way they often do curve in birds, large birds especially. And then the backbone continues with ribs moving out towards a huge sternum, unlike ours, a very large sternum with a keel because there are muscles on both sides. And then we keep uh, the sacrum becomes a very long part of the pelvic girdle with the ilium, ischium, and pubic bone. It doesn't meet in the front. Uh, and then the caudal or the back vertebrae. And then from the acetabulum, we have a femur out with a kneecap and a tibia fibula, and then the foot bones and the digits. And the drums, the, the uh, thigh comes out kind of flat, but the drumstick is the lower leg. So does that look familiar, like chickens you have, the leg of the chicken? And then the butcher cuts off the feet and the, the foot and the digits. And um, the, now the sternum has a coracoid process up to meet the clavicle, which is the wishbone, and then there's a blade of scapula, and those all allow us to have a humerus up to, the humerus is up to the radius and ulna, which as in us are kind of uh, two seat, two forms rounded to each other, and then the thumb poking up, the metacarpals and the index and middle finger there for the bird. So when we transpose a bird, a, a human into a bird, as I did with this drawing of my model, and I'll start with the drawing I drew for my drawing, I took the line all the way out to the heel, I made a little form for the buttocks, I uh, saw, oh actually I started with the arm, I thought that's perfect. The humerus comes out, the radius on the, the hand and the fingers. That's perfect for a bird, for the wing of the bird. That's the same kind of form, and sometimes I get it backwards, but I try to get it right. So I had the drawing, the original drawing, and the red here shows the energy of the model. And then there were breasts that were in um, perspective and a head in perspective. And what I did was to take the neck and extend it to what would be a head here to make her into a bird head here and face. And then I took the um, backbone going up higher to the pelvic girdle where there would be room for a thigh and then uh, a, a wishbone, I mean not a wishbone, a drumstick and then the leg. And there was a tail over here too, which would have feathers on it. And then the, uh, uh, ribs came to a large sternum there, and then the coracoid bone came up to meet the uh, wishbone, which had also the scapula back there, and then the humerus came over here, and then the radius ulna, the uh, metacarpals with the two carpals, and then, how did that go? Did I do it right? Do I do it right? Was it back there, I guess? And so I turned my human into a bird by enlarging the central part, uh, extending the neck to a head that is now a bird head, and making the pelvic girdle be long with uh, the thigh coming out, the short thigh, and then feathers. So I want you all to do the same for the next photo. <laughs> or what are the photos?